y'all, you want to know a fun fact about me? I love to read. I am an avid reader and I could spend hours upon hours upon hours getting lost in the pages of a book. I love the imagination that reading brings and falling in love with characters and all the things, right? And isn't that what we as teachers, isn't that what we want to instill in our students? And so what I see a lot whenever I'm working with teachers, you know, and, and talking with them is there's a lot of missed opportunity for incorporating read alouds into your math block. There are so many great books out there that explore mathematical concepts that bring math connections to life through um, the eyes of silly and fun and relatable characters that your students will love. And so today I'm actually going to be sharing a couple of my favorite books for teaching multiplication and division. So let's dive in and get started. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Marcy Bernithi and I am the teacher author behind SaddleUpForSecondGrade.com where I love helping teachers just like you fall in love with teaching math all over again. So today we're going to be talking about math read-alouds for your classroom and I'm going to be sharing some of my favorites for introducing and reinforcing multiplication and division. What I love about incorporating read-alouds into math is that you are allowing them to make those mathematical connections that they, maybe they make a text-to-text -text connection, a text-to-self connection, um, a text-to-world connection. So those comprehension strategies that we teach can also be applied in a mathematical concept. So I'm going to dive in and I'm going to be sharing some of my favorite stories for introducing and reinforcing multiplication and division. The first one I am going to share is, it's called two times two equals boo. It is a set of spooky multiplication stories that your kids are gonna love all year long and not just during the month of October. This book follows a comic book style, so it's gonna be really relatable as far as like design and graphics and things like that for your students. It's gonna cover basic multiplication facts zero through five, and it's got a lot of fun, silly, relatable stories along the way, from disappearing vampires to taking one bag of candy and multiplying it into multiple bags, and there's even a silly story about doubling a moose head. I mean, come on, what? second or third grader isn't going to love that, right? So I really recommend this one. It is called two times two equals boo. The next book I am going to share is by my favorite author. If you've followed me for a while, you have heard me rave about Stuart J. Murphy in his Math Start series. His books are fantastic for taking fun and imaginative stories and applying mathematical concepts to this one. So this one is called Spunky Monkeys on Parade. What I like about this one is that it teaches your students how to multiply and skip count by twos, threes, and fours by using different groups of monkeys throughout silly situations in the parade. The illustrations are really funny and they make understanding the concept of multiplication really concrete and relatable for kids. I cannot, I cannot say enough about Stuart J. Murphy's books. He is my absolute favorite um, children's author when it comes to um, creating books with mathematical concepts. The next two books I'm going to share, they are actually part of a series. There's one for multiplication and there is one for division. Now I do want to say that these next two I'm going to share, they are going to be more for third and fourth grade students rather than second grade, but that doesn't mean that second graders can't explore these books as well. So these are called Multipl the Multiplying Menace, and this, it, these two books are really fun because not only do they incorporate math and literature, but it includes the story and relates to the fairy tale Rumpelstiltskin. So if you are teaching um, fairy tales, you could easily make multiple mathematical connections within these two stories. 
So the first one I am going to share, it's called Multiplying Menace, The Revenge of Rumpelstiltskin. And this is Rumpelstiltskin returns after 10 years since he was defeated by the queen and he is back to collect his payment. And in this story, he goes around multiplying. He has his this uh, multiplying stick and he wrecks some havoc in the kingdom with it. And so there is a boy named Peter and he his job is to rescue the magical multiplying stick and learn how to use it before it's too late. And so will Peter save the kingdom from Rumpelstiltskin? I don't know. They've got to do some multiplying work in order to save it. So this one's really fun. I will kind of give you guys a peek inside. You can just kind of see um, there is quite a bit of text. If you teach second grade, I do think that you absolutely could read this with your students. Just know it is going to be a little bit above their level, but it would still be really good for making those connections. Um, I'll, one thing I did forget um, in this one, it not only does it cover multiplying whole numbers, it does incorporate multiplying fractions just a little bit. So again, I know that that's going to be more of a third grade standard, but it's just a good exposure as well. Which leads into my division books, and then there is a sequel. It is called Multiplying Menace Divides, and this is the perfect follow-up to Multiplying Menace. And what your kids are going to do is they're going to put their division skills to test in this math adventure. So Rumpelstiltskin, he returns again in this book and he is stirring up all kinds of trouble because he was banished from the kingdom in the last book. I don't want to give too much away. Um, but what Peter has to do is he has to relocate the magical multiplicate, multiplying stick. And now what he has to do is he has to learn how to divide in order to save the kingdom as well. So again, this one is really funny. It includes not only multiplication concepts, it includes division concepts. You've got fairy tales and all kinds of really fun things in this one. So this one is a really good way to have those text to text connections. And then the last book I'm gonna share with you guys is called The Great Divide. And this book about division features 80 racers and they are racing across the country and they go through a lot of dangerous tasks in order to complete the race. So each adventure or each danger that they come across divides the group in different ways, which leaves the students, the students reading wondering, are they ever going to finish the race? Are they ever going to cross the finish line? So this one has really fun graphics, in the story, your students are going to be wondering, like, you know, are they going to survive the danger that they came across? Are they going to make it to the finish line? And it's great for encouraging critical thinking and foreshadowing and applying knowledge that they already know about, di about division to determine, is there going to be anyone left at the end of the race? So this one is a really fun one. It's called The Great Divide, A Mathematical Marathon by Dale Ann Dodds. If you are looking for more recommendations, I've got a lot more for you. If you head on over to the description of this video, there's going to be a link to my blog post where I share 15 different books for teaching multiplication and division. So you can check all of those out as well as find links to all of these books as well. So I hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and I will see you guys in the next video.